Hey guys, so we have a new ZBrush 2019 and that it's awesome. We have a few updates. I'm going to focus more on just one and that will be camera because that's the most interesting update for me. Uh, the rest of them, let's go preference. I reset this one. Uh, the rest are pretty clear. Let's open an object with subtools. So, by example, uh, folder is uh, pretty easy to use. You just go and create a new folder, call it uh, final body. And we can, as you can see, we have one object that was selected and we can hide it with folder. Let's move another one into folder and Okay, I didn't move it. Okay, now, and we can control it. That's pretty cool feature. For non-photorealistic rendering, I didn't play too much. I'm going to test this more, and after that, I'm going to create a video. I'm not sure about this update. I will see on the process how much I'm going to use it on the future. Uh, ZBrush for me is more for sculpting and pretty much <laughs> that's it. Uh, the rendering I'm going to use 3ds Max for that. Also, we have a new Ziri Mesh, so you can go to Geometry and then let's find Ziri Mesh. The old one it's called Legacy, which I pretty like it. <laughs> I like the name Legacy. And then the new one with a bunch of new updates. Uh, I'm not going to focus on this one. It's easy to use. It's more focused on hard surface remesh, which is pretty cool. You can go to Pixelogic ZBrush on YouTube and uh, they explain pretty well this process on how to use it. So I'm not going to talk in this video. So let's go back to camera, which I really love. Why? Because usually I'm working on still image, uh, let's say that project and then the client says, okay, so I need to move this arm a bit more like this, let's say, and they draw on the camera and the final rendering in 3ds Max that they need to move the arm or something like this. Usually uh, my way of approaching was using my instinct in uh, ZBrush. But now we can go to, let's go to draw and drag it over here. But now we have camera. Also it's over here. I need to get used to it with this shortcut. Um, yes, so now we have a camera. And we have, oh sorry, this was the lock camera, sorry. <laughs> uh, now we can use the focal length. So the human eyes, I think is 50, but we can go to 85 and let's go to wide. Again, uh, some of the explanation you will find on Pixology, they're pretty straight and pretty cool presenting. Um, now, I just want to I want to move to one of my project, uh, this griffin. I think this is incorrectly posed, but I'm going to change it to this max. So I think that will be a helpful thing. Uh, the amount of polygons are 1 million and 300. So it's fairly high. And let's see, let's go to draw again. And Let's go and set this to edify. Obviously we can play more. That's way too much or 50. Let's go for 50. And then, ah, the cool thing is that you can store the camera. So let's press store camera and call it front. This is a pretty dope one. And then uh, let's move it around and store camera and call it back and now we can play around with the 
previous or the next one. You can see back, front. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, let's keep all of this and then let's go to Z plugin. And then let's go to FBX import export. And if you go to option, you will see that we have export camera or import camera. We can choose only camera, but we need all of them. Um, new settings, you can see over here, you can use tool bag, unity, move motion, etc. I need 3ds max. And then also you can export FBA 2016 or lower. So the last one is 2009. So that's pretty cool. You have layers, strides, trees, max, etc. So um, I need to play more with all of this. So maybe on the pipeline on the future, I will see each one what we'll do. So let's go to export. Let's go to call it Griffin and save it. The export process is pretty fast. I do have over 1 million polygons, so obviously that will took a while, but it was fast enough. And let's bring 3s Max. And go to import and let's go to Griffin. Let's make sure that we have geometry if you want smoothing and let's make sure that we're going to import camera. Hmm. I have a warrant, doesn't matter. Press OK. And there we go. Uh, we have a camera, and um, but as I told you, uh, the size of the Griffin is off scale. And then look where is the camera. But if we press C, we have it perfectly fine. But now let's uh, change all the things. Actually, we can choose a camera. We have a standard camera, zebra default. And you can see a 50 millimeters. So that's awesome. Now what we can do, we can delete the camera. And obviously the size of this one is not good. So even the <laughs> settings. So let's go to angle snap. Let's move in 90%. Let's press front view. And I want to go to 90%. Auto save, press escape. Let's see. We're pretty decent now. Let's move it up. And let's scale it like this the perspective view is so strange okay now it's better let's see the size let's imagine this is uh, two meters approximately so okay now let's go to settings and reset if for right click convert to a poly I have a flip normal doesn't matter for now I don't care about that and now let's go to top so, which one is the front one? Oh, okay, this one. <laughs> let's go to camera standard and let's create a target one. Press C. Orbit around. Something like this. 
Okay, perfect. Now let's set this to 75. Let's dolly a bit. Okay, cool. So now, uh, Ctrl A to select everything. Let's go to export. Uh, let's keep Griffin save. Let's replace and then geometry. You can play around and then let's go to camera. We have check, press, OK. And now let's go back to ZBrush. And then let's go to the plugin, import, and bring back Griffin. File important. And we have 75 focal length, and we can, sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, we have 75 uh, focal line. We can uh, lock the camera and we won't move it again. We can also store camera and we call new front. And now we can just sculpt, I guess. Move. And I'm going to move it exactly how will the drawing behind will be. So the client did this move a bit up. We can also unlock camera and I don't know. And we can just go to new front and we're back to camera. So I really love this uh, plugin. Maybe I'm going to talk uh, more with non-realistic uh, rendering. I'm going to try it more. For more uh, updates on this uh, new ZBrush, you can go to Pixologic ZBrush and look at the stream. So thank you for watching and see you next time.